Welcome back. It's 948. Time for News Talk. We have Matt from the Tanganyika Wildlife Park. We have a, a special guest here joining Matt as well. As you can see, this is an African penguin chick. Matt, kind of tell us about what we got going on here. <laughs> yeah, so uh, this was, uh, like you said, an African penguin chick. Uh, we have a pretty big colony at the park. Um, and uh, so this one was born five weeks ago, if you can believe that. So, wow. um, I mean, they're, they're pretty small when they're first born, maybe, maybe this big. And then uh, they gain about 10% of their body weight a day. So, oh my gosh. Um, so by about two months, so another three weeks or so, uh, this penguin will actually be full grown. Um, and then not uh, any time now, like you can see all this fluff and how fluffy all these down feathers, it keeps them warm when they're still in the nest. Uh, but uh, here in a, another week or so, they'll start to start to lose some of this, start to get some of their swim feathers in. Um, they'll, they, they actually have a set of juvenile feathers that gives them more of a grayish color. So. Okay. Um, and what is full size for a penguin like this? This is five weeks, so if it's at this rate, it's going to be seven foot by the end of the yeah, month. So what's, right. what's the full? full um, so they're, I mean, uh, I don't know the exact measure. I, you know, they're 18 inches, two Got foot it. tall, roughly. Um, yeah. Most most of them. So um, they're not they're not really big penguins. Um, you know, not like the emperors or the kings that you might right. see, but. And the pink blanket, we brought this on thinking, oh, maybe it's a female. We actually don't know the gender of this penguin yet. Yeah, so one of the things about the penguins is uh, that they, you know, they look pretty much identical and there's no color differences like you see in a lot of birds and whatnot. So the only way to tell is to blood test them. So uh, here fairly soon, next week or two, we'll, we'll take some blood. We have to send it to a lab and then uh, they'll tell us if it's a boy or a girl. I love that. And tell us what we've kind of been feeding the penguin as well, just to kind of get it to this size. Yeah, so they, they eat fish um, just just like they would in the wild. So, um, so they're, you know, getting really, really small fish. And um, so they, they smell very fishy, you know, yeah. so my car probably smells very fishy right now. There's, there's worse things it can smell like. And then take us through as well. How can people kind of see this penguin? I know you said uh, it, the adults are there right now. This one might not be quite ready yet. Yeah. So these guys were in the nursery for a little while. I think they've moved to the uh, penguin building now. So uh, they'd be behind the scenes. Although we are um, going to be offering a penguin chick like meet and greet. Oh, so okay. you get to come in and, and see the baby penguins and, and interact with them a little bit. Um, so that's just one of the penguin meet and greets that we'll be offering here pretty soon now that the park's open again. There we go. Any last events you guys have coming up where maybe they can uh, come see this one? Yeah, so I mean, yeah. We're, we're obviously open now. Spring break's going on. The weather's been decent. So, um, you know, come out and do that. And then it's the last couple of days of our season pass sale. And um, we already sold out of basic passes. I never thought that would happen. Wow. But but we sold out of basic passes. We still have silvers and golds and those, I mean, those are our best value passes anyway. They're a little more expensive, but um, you know, five feedings every time you come or the gold passes, you get a free guest with unlimited feedings and I mean, all kinds of other perks that come with them. I mean, free tickets. I think you get four free tickets, which are worth more than what you're paying for the pass to begin with. Like, there we go. Pretty, pretty crazy stuff. But um, so we, we do have like 200 gold passes left and then, you know, um, I don't know how many silvers, but awesome. um, so get them before they before the sales over. There we go. Good spring break uh, trip for the family to come out to Tanganyika. Matt, thanks so much for joining yeah. us this morning.